Hi everyone, this is the newly launched Lenovo Idea Tab Pro. You can see here, this is the tab, 12.7 inch tab. And with that tab, you will get Tab Pen Plus. This is the Tab Pen Plus, you can see here. This is the video, not the unboxing video. Actually, I will show you the menus, the settings, each and everything inside the tablet. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. This tab actually all rounder tablet. Each and everything is there. Switch on off button. It is also fingerprint. I am just switching on the tablet. It will take some time. So you have to keep the pattern as I have already set this up. Now I will show you the menu inside it. So this is the home screen you can see here. This is the main home screen and another one home screen is here. This is the right side you can see here. And if you go left side, this is the entertainment space. The Lenovo has given a special dedicated entertainment space. What type of things you have already watched? It is will be there. And you can see here how smooth are these. Actually tab is very smooth. All the things are coming very quickly. Response time is very fast for this tablet. Okay, these are the all the things are actually entertainment space. Now we are going to directly settings. You can see here this is the settings menu. Please. So check one by one. All these things will come later in detail. So first we have to go to the about tablet. You can see here this is Lenovo Idea Tab Pro device name system update. So click on the system update. It is going on ZUI here. This is written i6 16.0.20.002 stable version. You have the latest version. No new versions are not there. It will get four security update and two Android updates. The model and hardware is written here. CPU, MediaTek, Dimensity 8300. Powerful processor, storage 256GB, RAM 12GB. Software version, I have already told you. Now going to the fast, WLAN. So already it is connected to my phone, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. Now we are going to directly Bluetooth. If you switch it on, Lenovo Tab Pen Plus, also it will be connected by the more connection. Airplane mode, tethering, VPN, private DNS, USB, projection, cast, printing, and smart connect means quick share personal customization you can see here these are the different type of uh, wallpaper themes system theme color you can change here this is local albums dynamic wallpaper exquisite wallpaper total 15 is here you can see here these are the exquisite wallpapers and here battery wallpaper these are actually animated charge animation so charge animation you can change here like these or like these these are the charge animation you can change here this is the by default classic is enabled here now going to display you can see here light mode and dark mode is there automatic switching so if we switch the dark mode the tablet going to dark mode again returning it to the light mode adaptive brightness adapt color to environment so this is the brightness will be changing according to the environment screen color mode i have selected vibrant here standard is also there vibrant and if you choose vibrant then all another three options are there standard warm cool all these things so i'm choosing standard here screen refresh rate screen refresh rate are, there are actually three options intelligent extreme and standard I have selected intelligent it will automatically change according to the situation eye protection mode reading mode it will be effective in the night reading screen timeout lock screen screen saver is also there screen saver checking on the screen saver i have not enabled screen saver here so if you enable screen saver so it will come clock colors photos display size and text you can change the font size display size bold reset settings also there now going to auto rotate screen already i have enabled mode display settings leap to wake so if you enable this one 
if you lift the tablet it will automatically the display will on now going to sound media volume ring volume alarm volume mute turn off media sound when muted dolby atmos is there so dynamic dolby atmos dynamic is enabled here you can change to movie to music according to your choice do not disturb background sounds so if you enable this one uh, some sounds will come these are you can see here rain mouse ocean storm you can listen here different type of uh, campfires hard city drizzle uh, kakpu so if you enable this background sound suppose you are doing yoga at that time that environment will come now switching it off now media sound notification sound alarm sound other sounds other sounds includes screen locking sound charging sound tap and click sound screen prompt sound notification and control center app notification notification history notification dot on app icon notification sound allow notification snoozing hide silent notification in status bar enhance notification conversation bubbles control control center style you can see here control center style already there are two classic control center and new control center i have enabled classic and control center now status bar customization so battery percentage already i have enabled this one uh, by default this was this was disabled network speed enabled by default it was also disabled notification on lock screen device app and notification now biometrics and passwords there are all uh, three options are there password pin pattern fingerprint facial recognition so on the on up switch there is a fingerprint sensor is there so i'll show, show you by adding one fingerprint here now add going to add option you can see here add finger move the finger in this way just like the android phone you can add the fingerprint here enroll the age of the finger so done so you can see a finger one already done so fingerprint is more secure than the facial recognition that's why i have enabled fingerprint here it will ease your work also now security and privacy device may be at risk why because app security device unlock account security only for the here device finders means if it is stolen or lost how do you find out the device then you have to enable the uh, location service here so now location service is on and you can see here looks fine now safety and emergency these are the options location already so location i have enabled disabling now now one vision smart rotate floating window split screen smart rotate option how do you enable system control optimize display third party apps in landscape mode for more user friendly browsing so these are the third party apps i have installed here they also can rotate freely floating windows settings and tutorials you can see here floating windows how how to make the floating window next we are going to split screen double tap with the three fingers to open open split screen in the home screen app menu next switch split screen to floating window split screen ratio adjustment split screen position adjustment you can see here in this way you can change the position now digital well-being and parental control how many times i have used this tablet and which app i have used how much time they have make one record pen and keyboard here so pen already connected but these are not enabled here now because this is not connected with the bluetooth pen can be used for writing advanced features pc mode now after the pc mode advanced features key mapping is also there in the key mapping you can see here new mobile gaming experience with the authentic gaming controls you can enjoy apps permission manager special app access default apps similar to the android phone these are also here screen time how many apps how much time you have used here there is a screen time now battery most important 57 percent is already there battery temperature 36.3 degree so battery percentage i have enabled here detect battery drain over discharge protection i have enabled these are some graphs 
battery level activity now account synchronization this is the account accessibility accessibility menu pane select to speak several accessibility menus are there now going to google this is the account holder and here you can change these options according to your wish general settings system navigation taskbar you can see here swipe up from the bottom edge and press and hold the bottom indicator so in this way you can enable the taskbar here taskbar display the most recently used applications in the taskbar display the all applications in the list in the taskbar so these are different type of options you can enable disable here quick gesture swipe up three fingers swipe left or right with three fingers press and hold with the three fingers double tap with the three fingers so this different type of quick gesture you can enable here according to your wish language and input date and time schedule power on up screenshot and screen record storage you can see here system already consuming here now 11 gb system includes files used to run android version 14 now multiple users you can give the permission to access other guests backup reset options now going to lenovo vantage this is the lenovo vantage app by which you can see how much days the warranty are there warranty check troubleshoot repair status contact with the company and if you extend the warranty service you can see here get 15 percent off on the purchase through this app serial number and machine type model all you can see here so all the stats about the lenovo idea pad pro what is actually recorded here I'm going to notification control center you can see here so different type of quick control is there you can see here quick control torch is also there location silent aeroplane dark theme i mic microphone access pc mode quick share reading mode screen background smart connect camera video call if you enable another something with that you can change here you can see camera all these things you can add here according to your choice app drawer app drawer different type of apps are there you can use suppose you open youtube in the youtube you can see here three dots are there so click on the three dots and if you want to make it floating window then make it float floating window another one app suppose this is the google chrome make it another floating window now move one by one calculator open calculator so this app also you can use as floating window and you can see here how many floating window are here so you can open this you can see this video calculate according to your choice now if you make it again full screen full screen it will come minimize okay if you click on the time you can see here alarm clock timer stopwatch bedtime it will be activated this is the pain option you can see here 